Life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you deal with it. Demetria Siner is a history teacher here in Desert Hot Springs High School. Individualism belongs in the U.S. I'm not saying it does, but if it did, then you would break that on that. I think that when you see a person with a disability, that's all you really look at, their disability. You never think what's going on inside their head. After a few days in Mr. Steiner's class, I learned that no matter what disability, race, gender, or where you come from, you can really overcome anything. You can be as successful as you want to be. Uh, I forget about Mr. Steiner's disability. It's, just, it's normal to me. <laughs> Mr. Steiner's disabilities makes him any less of a teacher. Um, I think that he actually motivates the student body to keep going due to the fact that he does have disabilities. I think that that motivates the student body to see that if he can do it, I think that anybody can do it. Mr. Steiner is probably one of the coolest teachers I've had here at Desert Hot Springs High School. He's an inspiration to a lot of kids. Mr. Steiner is one of identical triplets. He and his brothers were born dangerously premature. After eight physicians, he was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, which affects your balance, motor skills, and muscle tone. The doctor told his father, your son will never walk, never go to a public school, he won't live independent, and he won't become a professional. And my dad said, boo, don't finish that for me. <laughs> he said, my son will walk, he will go to school, he will go to college, and he will become a professional. He's going to do this. Doctor says, you're dreaming, Mr. Siner. He says, watch the dream come true. Watch it happen. So my father kept pushing me and pushing me. My mother kept pushing me. When my twin brother was old enough, he was pushing me. This is to the doctor that said I would never walk. I've been to Indio High School too, I've been, and I've been here. I've been in Palm Springs, and I've. This is the best teacher I have personally ever seen in my life. And plus, you know, whatever setback Mr. Steiner has has had in his life, it's totally inspirational how he can come out of that and still be one of the greatest teachers, in my opinion, on this campus. Mr. Steiner, he makes learning about history fun and all. I'm gonna really appreciate that in the future, but I'm gonna miss him for next year. Live each day as if it's your last and make it work for not only yourself but those around you. And that's all I try to do is just impact um, as many people as I have the chance to encounter on a daily basis, not just as a, a, a teacher, not just as a motivational speaker, uh, not just as a board member for United Cerebral Palsy of the Inland Empire, but as a person in general. And I also am inspired by other people who I see as as groundbreakers, trailblazers, risk takers, and um, they, you know, they allow me to uh, do away with the naysayers and just continue to live life to its fullest. But it can't be done unless when times get us down, you know, like when I fall down or life knocks me down or life knocks you down, all you can do is get back up, dust, dust yourself off, and breathe a little deeper and work a little harder and enjoy life um, with a little more passion. So that's what I try to do. And if I've been a good example of that, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just doing what my father always told me to do, what my brother has always helped me to do, and I just hope that uh, the people that I come in contact with will get that same message and live life to the fullest, just as I try to do. If I can do it, you can do it too!